the UTMB World Series announced yesterday a new event right here in my backyard of Whistler, British Columbia. The first edition of this brand new race will be held on September 28th, 2024. But if this all sounds familiar, if this makes you think of another trail running event that should be taking place that same weekend, then trust your instincts. Because this is the same weekend that the Whistler Alpine Meadows has traditionally been held. And the courses are quite similar as well. But sadly, earlier this year, it was announced that WAM would have to be canceled moving forward. And it wasn't until this week's announcement that the entire reason for that became a little more clear. And that's what I'm gonna attempt to unpack in this video. Whistler Alpine Meadows was launched by my good friends Gary Robbins and Jeff Langford of Coast Mountain Trail Running back in 2016 with a 12K, 25K, and 55K race. In 2018, the 110K distance was added, along with a 100 miler in 2019. The race was put on hold in 2020 because of the pandemic, and then in 2021, brought back with a limited course just to keep some momentum going, which was all they were permitted for, before finally returning with a full lineup in 2022. Their original vision had been to bring a European-style race to Canada, a difficult course with big climbs that would take runners high into the Alpine, and all without the aid of pacers. Audrey and I had volunteered as course marshals that year, and it was pretty clear just how important the event had become to the local trail running community, as it continued to gain recognition worldwide. But that year, Whistler Blackcomb had given the go-ahead for another event to happen on the same weekend, the Everesting organization, and WAM had only managed to re-secure permission to hold the event at the last minute. And following the 2022 event, as WAM began working on finalizing plans for 2023, the team at Vail, the company who owns Whistler Blackcomb, became increasingly difficult to work with, despite them having already permitted the new Eversting event for another year. Races like this take all year to organize, but registration also needs to begin way in advance of the race. The situation had left not only CMTR, but all the runners who hoped to run the race in limbo. And according to Gary, it was at this point that Vale began throwing new roadblocks and hoops for them to jump through, including new safety requirements unrelated to trail running, and meanwhile prohibited them from promoting the race or accepting registrations. By mid-February, it became pretty clear to Gary and Jeff that they were being pushed out, and the decision was made to cancel the event for 2023. To me, this sounds potentially just like incompetence on the part of the staff member in charge of permitting, who it turns out was recently let go. And there was hope that with someone new in that role, there'd be a chance of bringing the race back in 2024. That is until this week, when everyone, apparently including many within Vail, were blindsided by the announcement of the new UTMB race. And it certainly came as a shock to the local trail running community after the recent cancellation of WAM. Now, I might be in the minority here, but I don't think UTMB is necessarily to blame, at least not entirely. It's pretty clear that Whistler Blackcomb wanted to host their own event, and they leveraged this partnership with UTMB in order to do it, something they've likely been working on at a higher level within the organization for quite a while. The person that Gary and Jeff had originally been dealing with may not have even known that this other deal was in the works. No, Whistler Blackcomb had a choice, and this is their community. They had an existing relationship with WAM, who had a proven record of positive economic impact, a grassroots organization that was supported by a dedicated team of volunteers and the local trail running community at large. CMTR donates a portion of all race entries to local trail building and search and rescue organizations. In fact, they've now donated almost $500,000, in addition to a number of other initiatives. And by the way, this announcement announcement is right on the heels of a price increase to $300 for a one-day lift ticket at Whistler Blackcomb. That's about 220 bucks US, which is a lot of money. And what does this mean for the trail running community moving forward? Well, it's fine for all of us to be up in arms on social media. And trust me, the community is fired up. In fact, there seems to be a full-on boycott developing. What's certain is that the Ultra Trail Whistler by UTMB is going to be hard-pressed to find volunteer support for the event. And a lot of volunteers are needed to successfully run an event like this. But whether the runners show up could be a different story. There are probably enough runners to fill registration who are newer to the sport and just not as connected to these kinds of discussions. And when push comes to shove, 
every runner is going to have to decide for themselves if taking the moral high ground is more important than getting those UTMB running stones. In the meantime, Coast Mountain Trail Running has announced that they will be launching a new event to directly compete with the Ultra Trail Whistler. They don't know where or any of the details, but it will be on the same weekend. The same weekend, I should say, that Wham would normally have been run. And that's why you won't see me at the Ultra Trail Whistler by UTMB anytime soon. I'll likely be running or at least helping out at Gary and Jeff's new event, whatever that ends up being. Because it's important to support local and to support those that are contributing in a positive way to our trail running community. Something I wish that Vale and Whistler Blackcomb would have done as well. If you want to learn more about some of the details of this situation, I'll link to Gary's blog below where he writes about what really went down with the Wham races. And of course, if you're looking to run a race in the area, be sure to check out CMTR's full calendar of events. And tell me in the comments what your experience has been with these UTMB partner races, whether positive or negative, and whether you think this is a unique situation or part of a growing issue.